Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am so excited about because I cannot wait to kick off Halloween. This is going to be my first installment of Halloween videos and Halloween is one of my absolute favorite holidays but I don't get to do Halloween as big as I used to because I've got a little guy these days and it's really all about him now so I'm living vicariously through everybody else getting to put out some cool videos and do some Halloween makeup on film. So this video is going to be focused around a broken clown doll look. I wanted to combine some different elements that I really enjoy in a look that would be very Tim Burton-esque. I, I love Tim Burton, so I actually asked my friend Mandy to be my muse for this, but even though anybody can pull off this look, but I just thought she had the perfect aesthetic, plus she likes doing these kind of looks. I'm going to be using my Wolf Face Art FX palette. This, this is a water-activated face palette. I'll put a link below. I got this on Amazon. It's relatively inexpensive, and if you have Prime, it comes to you in like two or three days. If you don't want to use something like this, this look can absolutely be creative with products that you may already have or that you can pick up at your local drugstore. Have fun with this. This is not meant to be like a very rigid, strict, it's got to be Tim Burton, it's got to be black, white, and gray. That's just what I liked for the aesthetic of this. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, be sure and leave me a comment in the comments below. And as often as I can, I love to help with this and answer questions. And if you recreate the look, be sure to hashtag it on Instagram. I can't wait to see all of the cool Halloween makeup. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm always doing giveaways and you never know what I'm going to give away with Halloween. So thanks so much for tuning into my channel and have a very happy Halloween. All right, this is Mandy. She hates my maker wave on camera. We had a little wine while we worked because this did take quite a while and we do this for fun at night. So we are starting with the NYX shadow base all over the eyelids just to prepare before I put any product there. And then I'm setting that with the e.l.f. HD powder. And this is my very favorite clown white from Mehron. It's very lightweight and it dries to a more matte finish. I'm mixing this with a little bit of liquid foundation to give this a little bit more of an antique look and not be a white white. Taking this all over with a synthetic brush and then I'm just going to pat this in with a beauty blender. Carrying this all the way down the neck, basically any areas of the body that are visible through your costume, you want to make sure and have covered either in the white or some sort of makeup. And I'm going to be setting this now with an HD powder as well. Now I'm going to be using a gray and a brown to do some shading and just make it appear as if it's more of an aged porcelain. I'm using this shade here to just add a little more dimension. And then I'm doing more of a marionette type of line along her chin as well. And then I'm just going to take another clean brush and just lightly buff that out. I don't want to overly blend this, but I just want to have these subtle shadows to give it that creepy effect. And now we're doing this really bold pink as her cheek color. And the idea for this is it doesn't need to be a perfectly round circle. Actually, the, the less smooth some of these lines are, the creepier this looks. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil. You can do a white pencil or more this flesh tone pencil inside the waterline of the eye. Now I'm starting with the white, adding a little bit of water to this, and I do mean a little bit goes a long way. And I'm going right against her lashes, not in the waterline here, because I've already lined in her waterline with that pencil. But I'm just extending the look of the eye to give her a slightly more doe-eyed effect, like a doll. Now I'm going to be sketching with this kind of dark charcoal color, the shape that I want to create around her eyes. And I'm doing kind of this creepy clown effect around the eye area. I like to use the shadow first to create the illusion of a little bit more depth and then also just to make sure I like the shape. It's a little easier than removing all of the face paint if I don't. Now I'm going in and filling in just with the plain black from the palette all the way around and on the other side as well. I'm having Mandy add some mascara here and then we're adding lashes and we're going to laugh hysterically here because Mandy's never worn lashes before and they felt really, really weird to her. So we just added some really, really big lashes to the top. I filled in her brows a little bit and then I am creating tiny little dots around her nose to create a perfect circle and then filling that in. Works a lot easier on these uneven surfaces if you do dots first to create your shape and then fill it in. I'm using two lip colors. I'm using just a creamy matte lipstick all over and then I'm going to be going in with a true matte liquid lipstick that's much, much darker to create more of an ombre effect on this lip and it's also extremely long wearing, more like a face paint when you use the liquid lipsticks. Using just a a very small brush here to fill this in and detail the lip. 
and I think that was just a craft brush that I used for that and then I'm going in now I'm using my Sigma EO6 which is a super tiny eyelining brush in the black and I'm creating little marks as if we have stitched on this heart and then of course repeat it on the other side now using the white, I'm going to be going right on the edge of this and creating just a little added stitch color here just to make that pop a little bit more. Here I'm adding just some gold studs to the very ends of our clown eye shape. And now I'm going to begin creating the shape for the cracks. You can stop right there and just do this really kind of creepy, cool clown makeup. But of course, I wanted her to be a broken clown doll and have all these different elements. So now I sketched on with a gray eyeshadow the shapes that I wanted for the cracks, and then I'm filling them in with the black. And this is kind of just random where I place these. You can do more or less of these. From the general crack shape, I'm going out here and creating kind of the fissures that are created in the porcelain or the glass, the illusion thereof anyway. So you want to have some areas that are a little bit bigger and then have it look like they are just cracking out from there and it's spreading. And a little trick to make your seams look a little bit more realistic is to have them look a little bit more open at the top where the larger hole is and then get skinnier as they dissipate like a real crack would. Here I'm adding just some light gray shadowing to some areas and then going back into that clown white, I am just adding some highlights so her face has a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going back around the edges of the cracks themselves to add that dimension as well so that the cracks look more recessed down into her skin. And then I'm just tapping that out with my finger. I really want that very, very lightly blended. And then I went back in just with a little bit of black and added some little fissures around the edges so it just looks a little bit more natural. Now we're going in to do the hands. You can do any area of the body that's jointed and just make it look like there are antique jointed hands. And that's what I'm doing here just with eyeshadows and a little bit of that, that palette using my clown white light as well. Again here just to add some highlight on the knuckles and then going back in with the black around all of my little knuckle areas here and I'm making them look like they are segmented or jointed. And that completes our creepy yet still very pretty Tim Burton-esque fantasy character Broken Clown Doll for Halloween. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hope to see you back soon.